Good morning. Welcome back to Little Bayou Homestead. It's been a little bit since I've been on here. I uh, had a lot of chores, a lot of stuff to get caught up on. Those are my hunting dogs. Well, my husband's hunting dogs, okay? <laughs> Not mine, they're his. But anyway, it seems like every time I come out to record, they're always on <laughs> the recording. But what I was going to show you guys, let me put my eyes on. Let me turn the camera around. I come out here to do some pea planting. And my savanna rose is blooming. Now she makes like a triple bloom. And I think it's just really odd this late in the year for a rose bush to be blooming. But it's a nice thought. It's a nice, you know, gesture of the plant to want to reproduce when it's fall. And I looked up from the rose bush and lo and behold, Miss Black Widow Spider. <laughs> I was like, oh no. I'm glad I didn't stick my head down there to smell the rose because our little garden friend and myself would have uh, been introducing ourselves to one another. Yeah, there's a leaf stuck in her web. But the, yeah, those little spiders just actually just creep me out. And there's all the girls. Yeah, they're all getting much, much bigger. Those are my lavender orphantons. And I've got a Plymouth Rock and Sussex. And of course, that's Johnny Cash Jr. And there's his big brother, Johnny Cash. They always after the girls out here, y'all. They don't discriminate. <laughs> they do not. <laughs> and the ducks, them ducks is getting big, y'all. I mean to tell y'all, those ducks will eat you out of house and home, okay? I only got two. Those are my grandboys. That is his birthday present. That's what he wanted. But, yep. I do still think that we have a set of girls because it's either me thinking this or either they've not matured enough. I don't see that curly feather on their tail. They just have flat surfaces, you know, coming off their back. So I think we still have girls and I'm still calling them fancy and dancy. Yeah. So, something else also, the turnip greens are really doing well. Um, in here I have garlic and potatoes, some winter potatoes. And the turnip greens are just shooting right on up, taking on off. I'm happy to see that. Same with this. There's beets in there and there's potatoes in there. So that's going to be, you know, some winter garden. And my peas, they're just growing right nicely this is about the length of them so far they're not going to be too far off from picking and shelling so they've done real good real real good and i've planted some for a later picking harvest so i planted just two rows and some of the seeds didn't germinate so i went back over where they didn't come up. As you can see, these are being attacked by some little critters in my garden. I try not to put anything on my plants because I try to do as organically as possible because it's just the way I like it. You know, I don't like any chemicals on my food. I don't think anybody else does either. But other than that, y'all, it's just been, you know, I haven't got anything in my little bed down here, but my two little jalapeno plants, those are been awesome. Those gave me a whole jar, I'd say a quart size jar, excuse me, a pint, pint size jar of uh, jalapenos off these two plants, and they still actually have the buds coming out on them. So, yep, see, there's still one there. They're still shooting off this late in the season. So, yeah, everything is <laughs> growing pretty good. And I'm happy to see that. 
because I did have a problem with ants on my okra and it was like a total nightmare with my okra. I mean, ants this summer just eat me slap up. And I mean, even in my yard, when we mowed the lawn or came out to weed in the gardens, the little boxes, it was just like an invasion of ants. Just, just eat you alive. So I actually had to go around the beds at the foot of the beds with some andros due to I could not get rid of them. These were like fire ants. And I mean, we, the, my grandchildren were getting eat up and I was getting eat up. I said, no, we've got to do something. So I, I did. I bought some andros and put it around the bottoms of my beds. But other than that, hey, it's been a minute. I thought I'd catch up with you guys. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. And the little bell up there, you can ding on that. And it lets you know when I upload a video. But other than that, I'll see you next video. Keep canning and keep it in good. Peace.